Earlier this year, I made a video about some weird Super Mario 64 game share codes, and boy, were there a lot of them. However, when I made the video, I kind of rushed it, and as such, I only scratched the surface of the bizarre things a game shark can do to this game. So today, I'm continuing where I left off and looking at some more weird Super Mario 64 game shark codes. Let's start off with this one, which the website I found it on called an earthquake. Only instead of being like an earthquake, it's just a bit of screen flickering, which is disappointing to say the least. There is some more that I tried out, like this one that's supposed to turn Mario into a fish, but it only erased my save data. In fact, a lot of these codes don't work. Um, especially ones that are supposed to change Mario's physical appearance. I swear, I have tried dozens of different codes claiming to make him look like Luigi, but not a single one I have tried have done anything, except for that one and only worked like halfway. Now, we all know about codes that make the game easier, like being invincible or being able to get 99 coins by pressing the Game Shark button, but there are some that makes the game more difficult and less functional, stuff that makes speedruns a whole lot more entertaining. Example 1, Rocket Mario. This makes Mario pretty much impossible to control. His jumps go all over the place, and most of the time into walls. Even walking straight is a challenge because of how Mario moves so fast and slides so much. And then on the opposite side of things, there's a code on the website simply titled Mario Can Barely Do Anything. And they are true to their word. With this code activated, you can't run, punch, grab, crouch, or do any kind of jump other than the smallest one possible. Unfortunately though, you can't even enter a level with this code activated. So there goes my hopes of seeing a Super Mario Can Barely Do Anything 64 speedrun. After that, there is only one more code I tested out that changed the gameplay, the hover jump. It's different than the moon jump as you don't infinitely ascend, only moving horizontally from the peak of your jump. But the thing that ruins it is just how tough it is to do anything like double or triple jumps. Now, in my experience, the codes that tend to work the most often are the one that change the graphics. And the title screen is always my favorite place to see how messed up Mario's face becomes. I swear, there's so much creepypasta material here that could have been used in some internet classic that never was. Or maybe as meme material. I don't know. If you've ever wanted to play Mario 64 if everything randomly zoomed in on random things, then have I got a code for you. If you've ever wanted to play Mario 64 but see everything from Lakitu's point of view if he was drugged out, here you go. And if you've ever wanted to play Mario 64 but have everything be Mario's eyes, then this code is for you. And to finish this off, let's look at the most insane ones of all. GameGenie.com had a code titled, Messed Up World of Mario and Love. After reading that, I had to know what it did. In this new messed up world, Mario does in fact look like he's in love. With who? I couldn't tell you. Also, coins are not triangles for some reason. The coolest of all of them, though, has got to be Disco World, which somehow changes the textures of the backgrounds into this cool pattern that flashes when Mario moves around, but somehow it doesn't corrupt the game's graphics. I think I might use some of this footage I got of Disco World for this video and other videos because it just looks so cool. And to end things off, I present you with another code that corrupts the game's graphics beyond any recognition, well, almost. At least this time, they don't change so rapidly that they could potentially give someone a seizure unlike last time. And, um, it's sort of, kind of, possible to play the game. Well, I mean, maybe, I don't know, because you, you can get a vague idea of where something is. Now this right here is something I would love to see someone try to beat. And when someone finally does, they have my utmost respect. Regardless, this time I'll post a link to the websites where I got these codes off in the description. And with that, I'm out of here. I'll see you all next time.